subiri ang gumawa ng resignation o pag alis sa Senado. Kasi alam niyo, ang mga elected official, especially sa Senado, Kongreso, lalo na sa Senado, napakahirap magtanggal o tanggalin ng isang elected official o senador. Pero kung meron pong iso ng delikadesa at saka po ang pagsalba sa uh, pagkasira o nasisirang pamilya o pangalan, yan po ay pwedeng gamitin, gawin para mag-resign ang isang senador kung pinagdududahan at uh, sa mga ginagawa at dapat maisalba ang kanyang sarili. Napakaganda po nun. Okay? Uh, at nangyari po ito noong August 2011. So, anong ibig sabihin yan? Uh, more or less, 12 years na. 12 years ago, may nangyari na pong ganyang pagre-resign. At uh, ito ay uh, gusto kong iparinig sa inyo kung ano ang inyong uh, masasabi. Sandali lang po ha. At ito'y isyo pa rin ho tungkol dun sa kay uh, Sen. Robin Padilla na alam naman nating napaka-controversial. Dali lang ho yung ating microphone. Napaka-confidential ng kanyang mga pinagsasabi tungkol ho sa isyo ng West Philippines. Narito ho ang, uh, ang ngayon ay Senate President pero 12 years ago, bagong senador pero nag-resign. At bakit? Ito yon Integrity and dignity. And I address this speech to reach our people to whom I owe my present position. Nais kong marating ang lahat ng ating mga kababayan sa sandaling ito sapagkat sa kanila nagmula o nanggaling ang katungkulan ko bilang isang senador ng ating bansa. In the May 2007 elections, I was elected and duly proclaimed a senator of the Republic of the Philippines with more than 11 million votes. My proclamation was affirmed by the Supreme Court without prejudice to filing any case with the Senate Electoral Tribunal. This chamber and our people may take judicial notice that my proclamation was assailed through the filing of an election protest before the Senate Electoral Tribunal, alleging fraud and irregularities in some areas covered by the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao. It was his right to do so just as the law and the rules of elections gave me all the rights to file a counter-protest in areas where I also believe I was a victim of similar circumstances, which affected the actual number of votes I obtained in the said elections. Since the said election was conducted manually, and as experience will tell us, the manual count and reappreciation of the millions of manually pre pre prepared ballots from the various protested and counter-protested areas would take a long process and time to be resolved. And that is the reason why, since 2007 up to the present, the revision and the recounting of the manually prepared ballots are still proceeding at the Senate Electoral Tribunal. While this team protestant claimed that he had recovered substantial number of votes from the areas he protested, the records of the Senate Electoral Tribunal will also reveal that an equally substantial number of votes were recovered in my favor in areas which I counter-protested. And as a result, the Senate Electoral Tribunal in its July and August 2010 resolutions directed the completion of the 100% revision of all the ballots from the precincts I contested. While my counter-protest is still pending before the Senate Electoral Tribunal and the revision and recounting of the ballots are going on smoothly to find out the truth on the party's allegations, a number of highly suspect personalities suddenly cropped up, claiming that they were alleged witnesses to the alleged fraud and irregularities in the 2007 election. Are merely with their vocal cords and without any supporting documents to prove their allegations. These alleged witnesses are now shouting out loud as if with full orchestration that my election was marred with irregularities. My rival took advantage of this political situation. He and his supporters are now asking for my resignation as a duly elected senator of the republic. 
despite the pendency of his election protest at the Senate Electoral Tribunal. My political detractors, Mr. President, began calling me ugly names and dragging the name of my family in entirety. In other words, Mr. President, the trial by publicity has begun. The trial at the Senate Electoral Tribunal where this issue could have been properly ventilated and resolved has been practically set aside. Sa harap ng Diyos at sa harap ng tao ay nais kong pagtibayin na hindi ako nang daya at wala akong kinausap upang mandaya para sa akin sa halalan. Lahat ng akusasyon laban sa akin ay pawang walang katotohanan. Let me repeat, Mr. President, I did not cheat. I did not ask anyone to cheat for me. And my family and I will never... Ayun. So, ayun po yung ano, ha? Iyan yung uh, speech po ni uh, Senator uh, uh, Juan Ponce and really nung panahong yan. Okay? Well, Andali lang at iniipit lang natin ito. Ganito yan. Uh, kaya ko po pinarinig sa inyo dahil po ang dami nagsasabi sa mga comments, reaksyon dito sa channel na ito, Mike Abbey Opinions at sa iba-ibang mga balitaan uh, sa media at social media na nagsisisi at uh, ang sabi nga nila ay dapat mag-resign si Sen. Robin Patilla dahil dito sa kanyang mga sinabi na pro-China ang dating at uh, hindi sumusunod sa policy ng ating gobyerno samantalang siya ay senador elect. So, itong si Subiri kaya ko pinarinig po 'yan. Baka hindi niyo baka nakalimutan ninyo 12 years ago, August 3 kung di ako nagkakamali, 2021, nung siya ay mag-speech kasama ang kanyang pamilya do sa gallery.